Welcome to our very first show, Let's Talk Rainbow Colors. And we're here with two special guests, but before I introduce them, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Mubukwanu Mubi Tanyambe, and I'm from Zambia. Hello, how are you? I'm good. And what are your names? My name is Paulo Washum Majekemi from Nigeria. Oh, wow. And um, what is your name? Lovisa Lisa Angula from Namibia. This is really exciting. We have two amazing special guests, and I'm so glad, and we're going to have an amazing discussion because we're going to discuss various things about our university and life here in Cyprus. And, of course, how the, ch the challenges we may face, but how we still live a positive life with it. So, tell me about yourself and being in this school, this university, you know, all. And like I said, the other time, mm -hmm. my name is Wapo Luashin. Master student in mm. business administration. Mm. Um, I'm live in Cyprus. I'm live in EU. Wow. Okay. Uh, are you into uh, any extracurricular programs in this university? Yes. Yes. Um, I'm into extracurricular activities, which has helped me. Okay. That's taken me a long way, mm -hmm. which I I enjoy most. Oh wow. It keeps me busy. And what are these programs that you're into? I'm an uh, international student, which everybody knows in, in EU. I'm representing. Um, all Christian Student Fellowship. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. And what about you? Are you into any extracurricular yes. programs? What are you studying? Well? I'm studying computer programming and EUL has allowed me to open an art club which allows me to be to express my artsy side of everything and to allow other students to express their artsy side. Um, personally, I like to do, um, I'm a fashion designer mm -hmm. and a programmer and wow. EUL has allowed me, like I said, to be artsy and to be smart at the same time that beauty does come with brains. Okay, so what kind of arts are you into um, exactly? We, as the art club, we we do DIYs, do-it-yourselves, mm -hmm. stuff that you don't have to spend money on mm -hmm. because we are college students and we don't have that much money. Mm -hmm. And we do little projects where we sew stuff mm -hmm. and, yeah, it's really fun. I have a question. Uh -huh. If I am someone who's not really into art, uh -huh. um, I'm not good at art, but yeah. I think I'll be interested in actually learning. Would uh -huh. you be able to teach me? Yes, you? definitely. We would love to have you. We, yeah. <laughs> we do all kinds of art. Mm -hmm. We do visual art. We do, um, we recently started crafting, so we would love to have anybody who would like to join. And do you have any social side that maybe you have showcased your Designs. No, 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 not not yet. not yet. We just we just recently opened the art club. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Innovation. Okay. Business administration. Do you have any plans to actually be a part of developing this place here? Yeah. Um. Like I said the other time, EU has helped me a lot in in creativity and innovation. Oh, uh, because I can say my undergraduate I study physics mm -hmm. back in Nigeria, yeah. but when I get to EU, I going to business admin and uh, there's a course that's given me enlightenment about innovation and creativity because innovation tells you that you can stand on your own and you can be a product of your own mm -hmm. in which it will tell you about the mission and focus of life okay so being innovative um what have you innovated so far um, uh, right now i'm the ceo of a consultant and startup consultant okay and in which and uh, i am my Wife, we are CEO uh, baking. He bake, she bakes, and uh, on all those such things like oh, wow. which women can do with handwork, creativity. I'm such a young man, I didn't, I had no idea you were married. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, uh, okay, this is beautiful. Um, have you faced any challenges at this university so far? 
Yeah, our first challenges. What are your challenges that you're facing? And do you have any solutions for those challenges? Do you? Uh, our first challenge is there is no any organization that does not have its own challenges. Mm -hmm. I think what I can say about the challenges I face in EUL, I think EUL is a school in which they work on, on their, on their um, if they're having a, a negative side, they mm -hmm. work on it. So the challenges I think are faced on, I think the school has worked on, on it and they balance it up. Okay. And what about you? Do you have any challenges that you need Yes, to I did face a few challenges. Um, we, I had um, problems communicating with the hierarchy or the higher mm. people of the school. And, but, but the International Students Club, the president and the vice president mm. and everybody who is involved in the International Students Club helped me to speak to the dean and mm. to everybody else. So it, they make the whole experience stress-free yeah okay so for me you know i know challenges can be such a terrible experience and people may fail to under like fail to find solution uh -huh. for the challenge you know that's when they start giving up and or maybe f finding other ways of helping yeah. their challenges you know some people go into unnecessary things uh -huh to help solve their challenges yeah. would you what would you advise such a person who doesn't know how to handle i would i would advise the person to talk to people mm -hmm. i feel like if if i have a problem i speak to somebody who is close to me mm -hmm. or i write mm -hmm. or i i do something that distracts me but not a bad not a bad thing like i like to sew like i said i love to paint so i do that and it just takes my mind off everything. So find that one thing that just makes you feel at peace and do that. What about you? Um, what, what solutions would you, uh, what advice, sorry, would you give somebody who's really helpless in this place? And is like finding no peace, no, like nothing. She, he or she is stuck. He doesn't know what to do with his life or her life. She's just, yeah, if what I'm, would you do? If I'm going to talk on that, based on the what I'm representing on the International Student Club mm -hmm. or Christian Student Fellowship, mm -hmm. I would just advise he or she to walk up to his God, whether you're Muslim or the Christian or anywhere you are, you walk up to God and then they can solve it all. But one thing I want mm -hmm. us to know about the issue and challenges you are facing in life, mm -hmm. life is all about mission mm -hmm. and life is all about vision. When you don't have a vision, you cannot have a focus. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you don't have a mission, no destination. Mm -hmm. he, if anybody that finds himself, he or she, if anybody that will find himself in that situation, mm -hmm. should try mm -hmm. and sit down mm -hmm. and look about and look around and see what is the vision mm -hmm. or what is my mission. With that, mm -hmm. he or she can solve the situation. Yeah. Exactly. I always tell people that you need to be positive in life yeah. because if you do not um have uh, like you know it's all about the mind yes. because some people don't realize that what they tell their mind what they conceive from their mind they start to do irrelevant things yes. and then they don't understand you know okay for me i'd say advent i like to define my life apart from being positive i like to say i take your life as an adventure you know because you know an adventure you're going to risk you're going to take you're going to take a risk maybe someone wants to try bungee jumping yes. you see and it's it's a scary thing. I wouldn't want to bungee jump because it's like I'm going to set myself to death just bungee jumping. But someone would say, no, you, it's so much fun. It's like exciting. It's full uh -huh. of, uh, you see? So that's why you need to like tell yourself, my life is an adventure. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to face a challenge. I'm going to overcome that challenge. So I, I believe be positive. And that's basically what I'm getting from your point of view. Yeah, I have a mission. And have a vision. Mm -hmm. If you have those two things, you won't have a problem. Mm -hmm. You're able to divide yourself. Right. You know where you are going to. Even when you have an issue, mm -hmm. you will know that you still have a mission. Yeah. That mission is your destination. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you have a vision, is a focus. But the mm -hmm. focus is not enough. You can have a focus without getting reaching that thing. Mm -hmm. But when you have a vision and mission, it's like being patient. Mm -hmm. If you give you, you have to be patient to still get it. That's correct. Okay. So, what has been your favorite? part of this island like what oh my gosh my favorite part of the island they my favorite part of the island is definitely the school mm -hmm. the school is very very pretty mm -hmm. and the ocean because i find yeah. 
peace. <laughs> yes, the ocean is amazing. Um, I have so many favorite parts because I've been going on these adventures with different people from different countries and we're just exploring this island and What's it's amazing. What's different about this place? Like, what? I mean, comparing to your country, mm -hmm. like, uh, Namibia. Yeah, Namibia. You have uh, a beach? Yes, we do have a beach. So is there anything like different? Like, um, the, the water is more clear here mm -hmm. and the beach is a little bit calm mm -hmm. so it's it's nice to swim and back home in Namibia mm -hmm. the water is really really cold so you can't swim at all so I'm grateful for <laughs> warm water wow. you know I, I don't we don't have a beach in my country that much uh -huh. this place it's uh -huh. it's in Siavonga it's a little mini river uh -huh. with sand but it's not a beach uh -huh. so I love this place because of the uh -huh. water as well definitely so I mean, yeah. and what about yourself like um what do you find Amazing. Uh, what, it has a big like question in which, in which um, two minutes, three minutes cannot even make really? me yes. You can't like turn it down a little bit? No, 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 I can't. I would love to hear yes, more. Because um, I can say EUL, mm -hmm. European University of Lepke, mm -hmm. and precisely International Student Club. Mm -hmm. I find it so, I find the school, even the, the life in Cyprus, so easy, fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I love about the International Student Club is the fact that they they like they represent every culture, every country you're Diversity. able to every s celebration each country has. Uh -huh. They're going to make sure it's done. Yes, uh -huh. and, and they are like the mouth, your student mouthpiece to the school. Uh -huh. If that you have any issues, you go to them. The international student will sit down. Okay, we can do it in the way you have like this in order to get it from your school. Then you will get it. Uh -huh. So I find it. I find EUL. So lively. In fact, I think I'm having like one semester left, but I'm planning to do my PhD in the UN. <laughs> That's <laughs> lovely. Give me a scholarship on that. Wow. <laughs> yes, so we, yeah, I think you got it. Probably. Wow, this is a lot, a, a lot of information, mm -hmm. and I'm so enjoying this conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot from you people. I mean, we all learn from each other, and mm -hmm. I'm so glad to know each and every one of you. So I didn't ask you this question though about um your culture and like do you feel like you lack um representing your culture in this country maybe you feel like you're missing a part of it being home I, uh, you said something the other time you say you should define yourself mm -hmm. i don't think i'm lucky i represent my culture anywhere i go to yes like i can say the last year october 1st the school helped us to celebrate uh, mm -hmm. our independent day in which we celebrate our cultural and our Right now, I'm from Mushroom State, the greatest culture in Nigeria. So, like me, if you see me, I put on native. But when you see some people, when they get to this country, like, oh wow, I'm in abroad, or oh, I'm in Cyprus, mm -hmm. I can't put on my culture, but mm -hmm. no. I find it so fun, interesting, mm -hmm. in which I know by the next, this October, the school is going to give us a, a grant whereby we can showcase our culture. AUL is a place whereby they uh, permit your culture, they even like the, to welcome culture. <laughs> like Miss Kelsby, you like, I want to see your culture. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's show it very well. So I think I'm finding it so easy and interesting wow. with the help of the international students. Mm -hmm. I would definitely love to learn also a bit of the Turkish culture. What about yourself? Are you guys interested in actually learning the Turkish culture? Of course. Would you love to learn the language? Yes. Yes, uh, yes, yes. I would like to love their, to learn their language. Mm -hmm. But in fact, I'm finding their food so interesting <laughs> because um, I think Miss Kesba gave me. I, I feel it took us on dinner mm -hmm. on time, and I take the uh, Kenyan Turkish food. Mm -hmm. But I, it's lo it's lovely, mm -hmm. and I there was one thing we call the uh, Turkish delight. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I can say chop <laughs> cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually, what about you? Have you learned anything from the Turkish side of Cyprus? Have you learned um, your types of food? Uh, I love Turkish delight, mm -hmm. I must say. It's wow. amazing. Yes, yes it, it is amazing. But besides that, they have this thing called kebab. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it is. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. eat it every day. Yeah. Um, and about expressing my culture, mm -hmm. um, EUL allows us to have our independent celebrations and mm -hmm. during those independent celebrations we get to cook food from from our culture or they we get to um, how can I say this express to other students 
about where we come from and what we do yes. back in our countries. Mm. So, yeah, I guess wow. <laughs> it is a lot of fun here. Well, I'm super glad to know that you guys are having an adventure of a lifetime yeah. and you're experiencing new things. And, you know, being in a new environment, university, well, and you're, you've been here for quite some time, but for, for some new people, it's amazing to know that you all are having an am amazing experience. And it's good to know that. But then I'm also curious, do you have a few, do you know a few words in Turkish? Since you've yeah, been here. I, I know. You know, the first time I came to Cyprus, I mm -hmm. learned something. Mm -hmm. Durak. What's it? Durak. Durak is top. Yeah. Then I learned Guzet. Beautiful. And there is one that I still Ish. That is work. Uh -huh. When you say you want to work, Ish is Tiro. <laughs> Please, I want to work. Uh -huh. I think I learned all those. And oh. um, Miyaba, Nasesi, oh, I think I learned all those. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, Cyprus is lively with EUL, European University. I found Cyprus, I find it lively. And with my big mommy, I call it big mommy, Miss Kesba. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In charge of international students, when you go to her, sweetheart, sweetheart, even when mm -hmm. you are in problem, no. she yeah. still calm you down in order to know that mm -hmm. you can still be so. Yes. Yeah. What about you? Any words you'd love to share in oh, Turkish? Or uh, I think he said every word. Okay, wait. No, okay. I know you one. Ekmek. It means bread. <laughs> 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 yes, because, uh -huh. yeah. Well, let's see. Do I know any words in Turkish? Hmm. I will food. I mean, I don't know why food has been on my mind, I think. I think I can say yemek and merhaba. Yeah, well. um, I can say I'm fine, which is EEM, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, we'll be, we'll like, we'll have teachers one day and learn yeah. a couple of the whole. I, I know people who actually know the language in food. I'm like, wow, how, how did you learn? How long did it take for you to learn in three months? And I'm like, okay. I'm not very linguistic, to be honest. I am very terrible. I don't even know my own language. It's sad, but it's okay. <laughs> I embrace it. Everything mm -hmm. is just fun, and and I'm again once again. I'm gonna thank you for being a part of this. Thank you and for having I'm us. So glad we've gotten to discuss everything concerning this show. And what are your last words? As yeah, you thank you. I'm trying to say a word. I would just like to tell you, all student of European University of Lepke, all what we want is we can come together and get what we want in European University of Lepke. And I know with our unity, I said it again with our unity, international students' unity, mm -hmm. European University of Lepke is ready to do all we want. Okay, that's amazing. What about you? What are your Well, I just want to thank sure. the International Students Club for opening so many doors for us and for making it easier for us to communicate with the higher people of the university for example the dean mm -hmm. um and i want to thank Ms. kisban for always being there for us she's the international students um yeah so um yeah that's all i want to say and that we love eul <laughs> there you go we thank you for being a part of this show and as you heard from our, my special special guests um always be positive and continue finding new th ways and solutions to enjoy your stay here in Lefke University, in this EUL University. And, you know, sometimes you need to appreciate the littlest things, you know. You shouldn't always expect to do something extreme to have fun or to be proud and confident. You end up losing yourself before you even find who you are. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. Let's talk rainbow colors. <laughs>